What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I want to share with you three common traps that I see software engineers fall into, traps that I have certainly fallen into in the past, and traps that I want you to avoid falling into. So without further ado, let's jump into the very first trap, which is that I want you to avoid PHP like the plague. Just kidding, I really just wanted to throw in a PHP joke in this video because it's funny. I swear I have nothing against PHP, so all of you PHP developers out there, don't worry. You don't have to avoid PHP. Maybe you do. No, really, you don't have to avoid PHP. Okay, actual trap number one. Try to avoid getting overly attached to your code. Coding, ultimately, is like any other craft, like painting, like drawing, like video editing. It is very easy for you, the craftsman, to get overly proud or attached to your work because you've put in a lot of effort, you want to show it to the world, you want to put your stamp on your work, and that leads to a problem. Because you see, unlike something like painting or drawing or video editing, where ultimately the output truly is just an expression of your own creativity, with coding, the output isn't quite just an expression of your creativity. Ultimately, your code has two main purposes. Number one, to ship some sort of feature or to support some sort of service. And number two, to be maintainable in the code base that it lives in. And if it doesn't accomplish one of these two goals, or both rather, then it's very likely that your code is going to have to be rewritten, or at least altered a little bit. And that means that it's probably going to be dissected by people who review the code or future maintainers of your code. And so if you are overly attached to your code, you can run into a very big like ego check or ego attack when people inevitably start to alter your code or dissect it. Do not get overly attached to your code. Treat it as something that is just a tool that will be mutated, that is very likely to be attacked. Invite other people's critiques of your code. It will only make you a better software engineer. Do not get overly attached to your code. Trap number two to avoid falling into, or actually trap number 1.5. This is gonna be a bonus trap. If you are preparing for technical interviews, do not fall into the trap of not using one of the products on my company, Algo Expert. Whether you're preparing for machine learning interviews, front-end interviews, systems design interviews, coding interviews, we've got you covered. We have everything you need. Just go to algoexpert.io and use promo code CLEM, C-L-E-M, for a discount on the platform. Okay, trap number two, for real, is to avoid cargo cult programming. Cargo cult programming is basically when you write some code or follow some sort of coding pattern for no real reason other than the fact that you have done it previously or that your team has done it previously. So there isn't really logic or reason behind why you're doing something. It's just that it has been done before. This is not good, but it's extremely common. And I have really fallen prey to this in the past. So many times when I'm having software engineering discussions or debates or even product development debates, I resort to, well, we've always done it like this. So that's why I'm doing it like this here. But that is often not a good reason because many times the reason that it was done like this in the past is either bad, like it's a bad pattern that your team or that you adopted, or it is inexistent. In other words, there truly is no reason. Like for example, oh, we put constants in a separate file from our main code files. I'm just kind of making stuff up here. But why did we do that? Did it make our code more easily maintainable or did we do that just for no reason at all? If we did it for no reason at all, and we don't think that it's gonna make our code more easily maintainable, then let's not do it anymore. Let's not fall prey to cargo cult programming. Always be intentional with the choices you make when you are coding. The third and final trap to avoid as a software engineer is thinking that every single coding issue or programming problem or software engineering decision has one absolute objective best answer or solution or result. No, most of the time, as you come to learn, the more you practice coding and the more time you spend as a software engineer, problems and issues have multiple solutions, none of which are absolutely better than others, but all of which are better than others in certain aspects. In other words, 
One way to solve a coding issue might be better from a performance point of view, but it might be worse from a maintainability point of view. Or perhaps writing unidiomatic code is going to be a little bit cleaner because it'll save some lines of code in your code file, but it's not going to follow your team's style guidelines. And so it'll be inconsistent with the rest of the code base, and that'll lead to issues further down the line. You get the idea. There are always trade-offs. There are always multiple dimensions to a solution to a software engineering problem. And it is very important to start thinking like this in this trade-off sort of framework rather than in absolute terms. Oh, this is just absolutely better than any other solution. No, start thinking in trade-offs and I swear your software engineering skills and competence are going to go up by a lot. With that, these are the three common traps that I've identified that I think you have to avoid as a software engineer. I'm very curious to hear whether you have fallen into these traps, especially the cargo called programming. I feel like there are always some funny stories that people have to share. Let me know if you have one in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short-form written content. Instagram if you like pictures, and I will see you in the next video.